The University of Tennessee Medical Center is our region's only academic medical center. Our mission is to serve through healing, education, and discovery. Our goal is to share the knowledge of our physicians and staff in these health education videos as you make healthcare decisions for yourself and your family. At the UT Balance and Hearing Center, we see a wide variety of patients. We see patients who have hearing problems, patients who are dizzy, patients who are falling or who are afraid of falling, patients who are having um, difficulty moving or doing their work because of dizzy spells. So we really see a wide variety of patients, but anybody who is having trouble with dizziness, vertigo, imbalance, hearing, falling, or the fear of falling. We are a comprehensive testing and treatment site at the UT Balance and Hearing Center. When someone comes in with the problem of dizziness and or imbalance, what they can expect is usually what's called a VNG, video nystagmography, and a physical therapy evaluation. During a VNG, the patient's eye movements will be assessed, the function of their inner ear nerve will be assessed, and they will also be tested for benign positional vertigo. In a physical therapy evaluation, we will look at the eye movement, we will look at the musculoskeletal system, looking for imbalances in muscles, um, imbalances in flexibility, and we come up with a treatment plan. Hearing tests are provided, um, cognitive auditory processing testing is provided for children, and we have other tests that look more specifically at different parts of the inner ear as well. The treatment that a patient would receive at the Balance and Hearing Center is really based on their evaluation results. We take their test results of both the audiology testing and the physical therapy evaluation. We have weekly meetings with our medical consultant and from there we devise a treatment plan that's based on their individual results. So every person that comes in gets a highly individualized treatment plan based on his or her specific deficits and their goals. Falling is a major concern for our elderly population, and our elderly population is growing every day. Fortunately, there is a lot that can be done to diminish the risk of falling and prevent falling altogether. Um, what I hear from my patients a lot is when they develop a fear of falling is they've decided to be careful. And this is a red flag for me, usually because that means that they've diminished their activity, sometimes to the point of where they've lost strength, they've lost flexibility, um, they also may be experiencing real lifestyle changes, and just to keep from falling, and that's not the goal. We want people to be engaged in their life so that um, without the fear of falling. I would say step one is to visit your doctor. Talk to him or her about getting an, um, a referral to the Balance or Hearing Center or to a physical therapy department to have the balance assessed. And anything that maintains or gains strength, flexibility, um, will prevent you from falling. And usually that's best to be done under the guidance of a physical therapist. There are lots of modifications that can be made in the home to prevent you from falling. And sometimes it's appropriate to start using an assistive device like a cane or a walker outside the home so that you can continue to do the things that you enjoy without increasing the risk of falling. When people come in to see us at the Balance and Hearing Center, usually what we hear is that they're experiencing a combination or either dizziness or imbalance or both. Um, dizziness is really, I look at it like an umbrella term, and it can feel different for different people. Sometimes dizziness means an intense spinning where they actually see the room spin and it's more like a vertigo. Other people describe their symptoms like a swimmy headed feeling, a light headed feeling, or a spacey feeling. So that's when we really work with the patient to try to tease out what their symptoms are, what brings them on, and try to get to the root of the problem through both the diagnostic testing and through our physical therapy evaluation. 
And balance is very similar. Um, there are a lot of things that can cause someone to feel and be imbalanced. We could have three different patients walk through our doors that look very similar. They may be staggering to one side or the other. They may have difficulty controlling their center of gravity. But the root cause of their imbalance may be completely different. And therefore, the intervention or the treatment would also be different. And that's where an evaluation is really important to see what is causing them to be imbalanced or dizzy, and then they can be treated appropriately. We hope you'll join us for another medical moment. Visit utmedicalcenter.org or call the Healthcare Coordination Office at 865-305-6970 to learn about services available at the University of Tennessee Medical Center.